What are some of the, you know, big talking points you've been having with attendees at today's event? What about the EU AI Act, which the third and final trialogues are scheduled for next week? And they they want to know what the impacts are and how the implementation journey, what it involves, what they need to do, and how um, ultimately how RegTech can benefit them. How do you think regulation is going to shape uh, AI development? I think various things. I think for once, the regulation is going to be a force for good. It's going to be an enabler, an innovation driver, and an enabler. I think a lot of people are stymied at the moment. They don't know what's going to happen. And regulation will put in those safeguards that allow the industry to take the next step. In the absence, we're in a vacuum at the moment, and there is no direction. So regulation is going to step the way forward that allows companies to develop safe, secure, and trustworthy AI. How can organizations you know, navigate that challenging regulatory landscape when it comes to implementing AI? I think working with part, the right partners, so people like CMS, one of the world's largest law firms to help with the implementation side of things, the RegTech, so we our solution which is KYAI, Know Your AI System, helps you identify and do the risks, um, identify the risks, and then you know how to tackle the implementation part. A lot of the risk rule, sorry, a lot of the obligations apply to high risk systems, but that obviously you need to know what the risk is before you apply. So businesses need to take stock of what they're doing, for example, one of the people we're speaking to this week, they will not sign off on a risk project until they know the risk. So we want to enable them to declutter their lives, to enable them to make those decisions and to keep business moving forward. Why is uh, regulation on AI so important? Because of the risks it poses to the safety, security and fundamental rights and democracy of individuals. I think, as Mustafa Suleiman said, it's the first technology that can act autonomously and as a sentient being and I think it's something that needs to be regulated it's not another abstract piece of EU legislation or some new technology this is something which is a general purpose technology that will change the lives of you know our generation and future generations to come in the same way the internet did and it needs to be handled with the requisite level of care and consideration for the latest tech insights visit em360tech.com